Question 7. So we've got a wall here and the wall is 6.8 meters wide and 4.8 meters high. Now 4.8 meters is 480 centimeters you times it by 100. That's spread over the 12 squares so each square represents 40 centimeters. Now we could tell that really from the scale but it's just nice just to sort of gather your thoughts. So um, each of these measurements really needs to be turned into squares. So we're told that each painting is 1.2 meters wide by 1.1 meter high. So that's 120 centimeters wide and 100 centimeters high. So dividing each of those by 40, we can see that each of the paintings needs to be three squares wide and two and a half squares high. So eventually when we go and put our three paintings on the wall they're going to be three squares wide by two and a half high. Now there's other bits and pieces we've got to do. We've got to make sure the bottom of each painting and the floor is at least 1.4 meters. Well that's 140 centimeters divided by 40 which is 3.5 centimeters high. So each of my paintings has to be above that red line. Equally, they've got to be less than, um, uh, they've got to be more than 1.2 meters away from the top of the, of the, um, the wall. Now, 1.2 meters is 120 centimeters divided by 40 is three squares. So we know again the paintings have got to be, be below that red line. Now, other things we're told, they've got to be at different heights. So I've made sure they're all at different heights. And then we're also told the horizontal distance between each painting is to be the same and at least 40 centimeters, which is one square. So the horizontal distance, the, the distance across has got to be the same. Now there are many correct answers here, but this is the one I've gone for. So they are, are both three squares apart. They are at different heights. They're below that red line. They're above that red line. And there's three squares wide and two and a half squares high. So this is one of many possible answers. Now for part B, a painting costs £490. Sue want to, uh, wants to buy one. She doesn't want to pay more than $600. Um, it, can, she, can she afford one? Now we want to turn these dollars into pounds dollars into pounds. Now can you see that to, to turn dollars into pounds you're going to need to end up with a smaller number. So we're going to have to divide by 1.23. So if you do 600 divided by 1.23 you get a smaller number than the dollars number. You get 487 pounds and 80. So just to repeat that's 600 divided by 1.23. So basically, um, she, she's prepared to pay up to £487.80, but they actually cost £490. So um, is she going to be able to afford one? No, she isn't, because she's only prepared to pay $600, which is £487.80, when in fact she needs to pay £490. So is the cost of the painting less than $600? No, it isn't. Um, it's, uh, it's more because $600 is that, the paintings are that.